Holy moly, guys. Talk about a crazy day for Bed Bath & Beyond stock today. My goodness, it went up around 40% on the day. And I believe earlier when I made my previous Bed Bath & Beyond video, and honestly, I wasn't planning on making another one, but the stock just went crazy today. But earlier it was up, I think around, what was it, 20%? When I made that video, I think it was at around 27-ish cents. And you guys can see we completely blew through 30 cents and we got all the way to pretty much 33 cents at the end of the day. So in this video, guys, we're gonna do a quick breakdown on the charts, talk about the stock, what I'm looking to do. But before we actually do that, don't forget to get up to 17 free stocks from Moomoo, each up to 2,000 bucks. Use that link down below or go to stocksurfest.com slash Moomoo. Once you guys open up your account and fund it with at least $100, you get a free share of C3AI stock, which is around 35, 40 bucks, and you get five more stocks, totaling six stocks. And fund your account with at least $1,000, guys, you get 10 more more stocks on top of those six stocks totaling 16 stocks and listen to this guys it gets even better fund your account at least five thousand dollars on top of the 16 stocks you already got you also get a free share of either google or tesla guaranteed and guys the clock is ticking you have a couple more days to do that so use that link down below and of course that is an affiliate link i appreciate you guys as always and with that being said cheers let's dive right into the video so like i said earlier today when i made my last video I think Bed Bath & Beyond stock was at around uh, 28, 27 cents, something like that. And we were talking about how we were digging our way into uh, a triangle, right? We were pretty much pushing up into uh, that 29, 30 cent resistance, which you guys can see that was from, I believe, a couple weeks ago. Let me see here exactly uh, when that was. Yeah, back in, uh, back from the end of May, early June is where we were. Uh, we were around 29, 30 cents. We got rejected there. And now, well, look, guys. Uh, lo and behold, we are completely breaking out of that point, 30 cents. So we failed there earlier in the day at around 11 a.m. on the East Coast, again at around noon on the East Coast, and then right around, uh, let's see, what time was that, 3 p.m. on the East Coast? power hour right when that started we ended up running right through it actually about 20 30 minutes pretty much midway through power hour that's where bbbyq really started to take off it was at around 29 30 cents we broke right through 30 cents and we ran all the way up to 33 cents guys so in the uh, second half of power hour this stock gained around 10 and a half 11 percent then we pulled back a little bit into close you can see it went from 33 cents down to around 31 32 cents and we closed up almost nine cents on the day up 39.09 percent to be exact but we're going to round it up to 40 percent because that sounds even better so guys this is very bullish again we have the triangle playing out to the upside we're above the moving averages we have a golden cross on the intraday that's great and here on the five day five minute we're above obviously the highs from yesterday, the day before that, day before that, day before that, day before that. So in other words, we're at a multi-day high. And let me see here. If I pull up the 10-day chart, let's see what that's looking like. 10-day chart. Oh, look at that. We're also at a high on this time frame. You guys can see, again, we're above the highs from the last week. And now we're actually getting close to pretty much a three-week high on BBBYQ, guys. And on the 20-day chart, now we're actually filling this gap that we also talked about in my last video, which is why you guys have to pay attention to the videos. Hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and uh, keep up with these videos, guys, because we talk about these stocks, and there's a reason why we cover the charts all the time, because we have to do updates and kind of see where things are at, and we talked about this, right? So we broke above 30 cents. Now we're slowly starting to fill the gap to about 35 cents, which was the high from the end of May, the 26th of May to be exact. So in my eyes, guys, as now we're getting a lot of antsiness, anticipation before the 28th, which is on Wednesday. That's the uh, Bye Bye Baby uh, auction, right? Big, big day for uh, this company, the stock. I think we could fill that gap uh, in the very short term. I, honestly, I think we could break that point. And if we do break that point, you might be asking yourself, Stas, where could you see the stock going? Potentially, uh, we could see it go a lot higher. Let's actually break down some key levels coming up here if we take out 36 cents. And actually, before I do that, let me put an alert at 36 cents. Mark is that we're above. So we can see if we do fully break out of that point. So I just put it at 36 cents. That's slightly above the highs 
from the end of May. And let me pull up the four-hour chart. Yeah, let's do that. Four-hour chart. I'll zoom in and see what's going on uh, here. Some key levels, where we could be going if we get good news around the auction with Bye Bye Baby. Other good news comes out. Uh, let's see where we could be going. So like I said, initially, $0.35. Cents. We talked about that. If that breaks, we could be going up to around anywhere, in my opinion, from $0.48 cents to around $0.55, maybe $0.56. Cents. If I zoom in here on the chart, you guys can see, and by the way, this is the four-hour chart, back before we got the bankruptcy announcement, which was on, I, I remember it like it was yesterday. It was a Sunday. I think it was the 23rd of April we got that news. Right before that, we hit a high here. Well, it was a high, a recent high at the time, right? I mean, obviously, it's nowhere near the all-time highs, but at the, at the time, it was running. We hit around 56, 57-ish cents. So that's why that is a big target now uh, as resistance, right? And again, another point, 48, 49 cents, which you guys can see if I zoom in, that was the high in the pre-market and the aftermarket of that same day where we hit 56, 7 cents intraday. So in my eyes, guys, that's where I can see BBBYQ, uh, you know, go in the short term. And let's say hypothetically, it does break 56 cents. We can make a serious argument that at least technically it could be running to 80 cents to even a dollar. You heard that right, guys, even a dollar. And this is actually where I started buying Bed Bath & Beyond, guys, funny enough. I traded it a bunch uh, during the meme, uh, meme stock uh, era, a little, bit, a little bit after that as well, but I haven't actually bought back into it since that point. It's been a while, so for fun, I was like, screw it. I think it was at 81 cents I bought the initial uh, position, right? Then I bought more, what was it, 26 cents? I forget, maybe uh, maybe a little bit more after that. And my average cost now is 41 cents. Uh, but yeah, that's where I bought initially. I believe it, it might have been right here, end of March, something like that. Uh, but yeah, guys, if we start breaking 57 cents, a dollar, 80 cents, you know, 80 cents to a dollar rather uh, is not too far-fetched it is not too far-fetched so what do you guys think let me know your thoughts in the comments and again full disclosure i'm in this stock my average cost is 41 cents and let me say this guys it is with a very small position you got to realize i'm not betting the farm on this company i'm not doing anything of the sort it is a speculative position which most likely will uh, will go to zero at some point you know a lot of stocks out there believe it or not guys over time they do find their way to zero that's why you don't see the same top companies that you saw 20 years ago 40 years ago 60 years ago you know in the uh, in the US uh, S&P 500 right you don't see the same companies sure some of them are still very big they're doing decent but as time goes on, companies go to zero, and this one's very close to zero, guys, 31 cents. So realize there is a lot of risk here, and yet you have to understand that, and please trade at your own risk. So with that being said, hit that like button, make sure to subscribe, and don't forget to get your free money from Moomoo, guys, up to 17 stocks, each up to 2,000 bucks. Use that link down below, open up your account, and fund it with at least $100. You get five stocks, each up to 2,000 bucks, and you get another free share of C3AI stock, which is actually exclusive to this channel, that's just with a $100 deposit and fund your account at least $1,000. You get 10 more stocks, totaling 16 stocks, and fund it with at least $5,000. Guys, listen to this. On top of all the stocks you already got, you also get a free share of either Google or Tesla, guaranteed. And guys, you have four more days to do that, so get on it right now. The clock is ticking. It's an affiliate link. I appreciate you guys, as always. And with that being said, cheers. I'll see you in the next video.